Hello everyone and I hope you are doing well. So in this video, I am going to give you some remarks or some recommendations. If you want to develop well with Bolt, there are some mistakes that you simply need to avoid. So I would like to start by explaining the importance of the plan that you need to put here. You will see that here, uh, for example, we have made a whole application that is very developed. It's an application. The AARC is a front office with a back office, so it's a full stack. And it contains at least 30 features. So there are also even applications of artificial intelligence. There is also a somewhat advanced search system. There is also a complete more system to add, to upload images, to process them. Quite simply, it's a platform that I created thanks to Bolt. This application in total took practically an hour and a half to launch the prints. And it cost approximately $8. So we consumed 3.2 million tokens. So we had 10 million tokens before because it's a subscription of $20. So out of the 10 million, we consumed 3.2. So approximately it comes to $8. But how were we able to achieve this? Quite simply because we focused on providing quality plants. That is to say the mistake everyone made is that we come in here. We try to put, so here it is the print. And afterwards it's up to bolt to understand your print and try to develop it. However, if you work on your print in advance, you'll see you'll give him the answer directly and you'll make the task easier for him because you'll provide a clear, simple and easy to understand print for bolt. And there are two ways to do it. If you're going to start, I recommend creating the prompt by working with perplexity. Perplexity really allows you to create the first prompt, which generally means it's the specification document. When I do it with perplexity, it was absolutely necessary to optimize by actually enabling this option active because it's an option where you can actually work in a very, very fast way and it will use the internet. In fact, you will see that thanks to this option, it will try to do a search, especially if I want to copy a website or develop my own specification document. There are those who also want to switch to reasoning mode, move forward, which is also very interesting. So thanks to these options, I can launch and truly create an Apfidism, a powerful system in the specification document. And you will see that when I make a very good specification document, when I start to launch it with Bolt, I start with a solid foundation. It's better than starting. There you go with a buddy. There you go with a plan that is not very well explained. At the beginning and later, you will really spend a lot and waste time on corrections. But if at the beginning, I actually give it a really well detailed print where I provide, here are the technical characteristics, the visual part, the implementation part, the execution plan. All of this will actually allow me to start on a very, very advanced basis. That's the first remark I give you. Don't give a direct print here. Start preparing it on, uh, on and therefore perplexity. You need to have managed to achieve the best quality at that moment. Then you copy and paste. Second remark. So when I launch a project with Bolt, you will see that there, of course, I can simply make modifications, make proposals, ask it, make corrections, which I recommend even here in the work environment, try to put prints in English to further save on consumption of tokens, because if you put your print in another language, it will understand it, but somewhere it will consume tokens to do the translation. And the best way to do it, and this is what I recommend, you can call on ChatGPT, and especially you use this model, the O3 Mini High. The O3 Mini High, I know it is only accessible with a subscription. So the 20 d subscription, a subscription of uh, ChatGPT is not the most expensive subscription, but still it's accessible. But thanks to this one, in fact, it is very, very strong, as you can see here in programming and coding. So for me, what I advise you before launching other revisions, especially to ask it to process, to actually work on features or to correct features, it would be better to come here and to ask it right for me. There you go, a quality point in English for you make two points and explain what it is. And there, what is it going to do? It reasons as long as it first has the reasoning part. And on top of that, it reasons for coding. So 
As a result, you will see that you will get a very, very good quality of output. I copy it and then I come here on Bolt and I put it. Another thing that is very important, if you ever have an error and you want to correct it, I highly recommend using what we call first a printout. When, as you look at the injective, my printout went so with my that I can do it. But with Windows 2, you can do it so that I will control it. Shift and 4. And I actually select where the error is or where the button I want to deal with is. I need to do that. I take this screenshot. Here, I'll show you. It's a screenshot. I play the role from here to tell him, look, I need you to work on this part, of course, the plants. I do it with chat JPD and then I actually add the screenshot image of the specific feature. This helps Bolt to go straight to it, especially when you have a lot of buttons, a lot of features to assist you. In fact, and especially sometimes we don't have a logical sequence, meaning once I'm working, for example, you're correcting this button here and then you have an idea to work on that button or on that feature and then you want to come back to this. If you don't have a logic there, it won't follow. So you can talk to him about something, but he understands it's another button because buying, for example, here is a button that exists there but also exists elsewhere on other pages. So as a result, it would be good to make him a screenshot. If you even want to send a screenshot like that, of the entire page, then he can know exactly what it's about. You take all that, and when you tell him that you want to work on the button buying and that you want him to develop or fix it, he will take it into consideration. Another thing that very interesting with Bolt, so sometimes you have an error and you ask him to fix the error. You need to send a printout first on the functionality or the button or the location where the error is and where the function needs to be done. You make a print. In fact, you explain how it's done. We said we start with ChatGPT. We explain to it what it's about. I take a print here in English and uh, send it to him here. And again, it is our information that is very important. The error message, it will be very important to select it and also put it in uh, the Bolt section because thanks to the error message, Bolt will actually understand the data much better because if you have an error message displayed on your site or even sometimes in the terminal, look, here, look there, there is the, here, uh, in fact, these features are very important. Actually, if you have an error message, I select it and copy it. And then I paste it here and ask it to fix this error, assuming it's an error. So by providing it with the error message, it will greatly help to quickly correct your error. Because there are a lot of people who do that. They encounter a blockage somewhere. They start sending it, fix this button. It doesn't display, it doesn't show the information correctly, the result is invisible, it's missing. You need to send it an initial screen, a well-made plan in English, well detailed. You can use it, charge GPT-03 mini high. And again, if you have an error message displayed, I quickly copy paste the error message. So there, I will provide it with all the information. But there, you can lose a lot of tokens by asking it to fix the error of something. And there you go, it will never happen. Another thing that is very important, which I also recommend to you, is this option, roll back to checkpoint. What is this for? Sometimes you make a sequence in your programming and at a certain point there is a blockage. Bolt cannot debug a bug or correct a function. It doesn't work. Every time you give, you print, you put error messages, it blocks, it blocks, it blocks. Impossible to get through. You see that it starts consuming a lot of tokens. It's as if it's stuck. It happens. The machine sometimes is like that because there is a certain element a Q, uh, it couldn't detect. So what I do or what I recommend to you is that you actually go back up there and look at where it worked well before developing this or that function. And when you click here, it will start again from this function. From that part and at that moment, you will give it the print, but it knows to improve the print. When you add a new feature, imagine that you want to ask it, for example. To develop this option for this function, would you to perform the search on the site? So at that moment, it will be very interesting to return to ChatGPT here to ask it to further detail this function, once again, providing more information and data. And you will see when you come back here, you will start with another much more qualitative print and the result will be different because there are a lot of people who sometimes spend an hour trying to fix the same error. If you don't provide more variables, more details, it will start making changes in the code. It will change a lot of code, but somehow it won't find the result we're looking for. 
and that, in any case, is a bit of the basic functionality that you need to know, that you need to take into consideration. And finally, if you actually want to do the hosting, it will be very, very important right from the start. In fact, when you say to Bolt, there you go, that God, that you are actually going to export the source codes because there each source code I can export it just like that so the source code downloads as you can see here and when I take that source code and I want to host it on a an external host it will be good to choose an external host where you simply have a configuration with the cloud Penelope saw why because thanks to the cloud panel you can install the same bolt environment because there are a lot of people who develop applications here but then there's a blockage how they are going to host it. And if you want to host it on your external host, no matter the name of the host, it's very important to choose one that should be, uh, gives you a VPS where there is the cloud panel because the cloud panel is where we do the installations. And you can also ask Bolt here. This is important. There are people who don't ask this question to Bolt. You can tell him, okay, I downloaded the file and now I need you to give me all the steps to install my application on a VPS, especially since I'm talking about a web application, so everything related to that. The mobile application and the Android application are something else. Here we go through Expo, which is a partner with Bolt. But if most web applications need to be hosted externally, then it will be very interesting to ask Bolt what the steps are to reinstall the same working environment on uh, an external host. Finally, don't forget that the machine the tools today, artificial intelligence, these editors, they are machines that must be guided by humans so they can deliver the best or the most optimized code. Because if you put a bolt here, in bolt, you enter your prompt. If the prompt is not optimized, know that bolt cannot understand everything. It's completely normal that you need to guide it, that you need to ask several questions here, guide it to fix and move forward. And uh, with this uh, video, I wanted to give you the right habits, the right behavior that you should adopt to truly succeed with your application and make this ego, this intelligence work for you and not the other way around because many people keep going in circles trying to solve the same problem without changing their approach. So knowing how to write your prompt well is, in a way, 50% of the work. Thank you. So if you have a bolt project and you simply have questions, you're facing obstacles, you need a recommendation, feel free to write to me here in the comments. Your question, your request regarding Bolt, where it's stuck or the question I can help you solve, write it in the comments. It will be a great pleasure to send you a private message to perhaps explain how to solve the problem if I have encountered the same issue before. Since I develop several applications with Bolt every day, I consume a lot of tokens on multiple client accounts. So feel free to write your question in in the comments and it will be a great pleasure to send you and respond to you via private message thank you and there you have it we've reached the end of the video i hope you enjoyed the content if you want to support me feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel so i can continue creating more free videos on youtube and if you want to join my community on udemy if you want to have more advanced more detailed training with more examples and practical workshops i've put it on my website there two packages the first one simply contains all my courses on artificial intelligence, automation, and our codes. And the second one is a complete package. It contains approximately 1,000 hours of training. You'll even find digital marketing in it. Don't forget to simply use the code I created, especially for my YouTube community. It's a code that is YT20. This one will simply give you a discount and a discount of 20% on these packages from yesterday, please note it's a code that's only valid for my YouTube subscribers. I thank you very much and see you soon.